Hey guys, it's Miss Megan. We are now in week four of Virtual Bible Club, and I'm so glad that you guys have joined me again to hear about the story of Gideon. I think what stands out to me the most is that Gideon is kind of a fearful guy, um, but the angel comes to him, um, and the angel is a messenger sent by God. Um, the angel says, mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. And Gideon doesn't seem like he would be a mighty warrior, but God sees something in him that even Gideon doesn't see. So um, I just hope you're encouraged by that, that um, if God's our strength, then it doesn't matter if we're afraid. Um, God still can work through us if we, we ask him to. And then I just think it's amazing how God takes Gideon's army of like 30 something thousand people. Like I can't even picture that many. It's like maybe a, um, a full, totally full football stadium. That's how many people were in Gideon's army. But God brought it down to just 300 people. Um, that's not that many compared to 30,000 down to 300. But God wanted to show that it was his power and not Gideon's power and not his men's power that um, saved them. So I hope you are encouraged that God is powerful and he is <clears throat> able to use even the most fearful people to be a part of his plan. So he wants to use you to tell other people about Jesus. You can tell them the story that you learned today. You can tell them the three circles. Um, even if you're afraid, you just got to ask God for help and he will, he will give you the courage that you need. So for our craft today, I was going to show you really quick. Um, we've got these little tubes, cardboard tubes, um, and everybody should have one and as well as a piece of wax paper and a rubber band. Um, so this is actually super simple and kind of cool. So I think you just need a pen or something sharp like that and put your thing down on a table. Be super careful with this part, but you can just stab a hole in it with, don't use a knife, don't use scissors. I might've said that on the paper, but um, I want you guys to be super safe. So make sure you use something like a pen that's not super sharp, but make a hole kind of like that in your, in your tube. Then you're gonna take your wax paper, stick it on the end, and then you're going to put a rubber band around it, like that. You might have to wrap your rubber band twice or something to do that. Get it, you will kind of fill it tight. And then you're gonna just hum a song. Y'all see how it hums like that? <laughs> so if, if anybody in your family is annoyed and tells you to stop, you need to listen to them, okay? This is a fun little thing, but I think you need to take it outside so you're not bothering people with it, okay? Um, but anyway, I thought it would be fun, kind of like a little trumpet, like they, uh, like the Gideon's army blew that scared the other army so bad that they ran away. So um, I hope you guys have fun with that, and I hope you have a great week. I've been praying for you guys as you've been starting school, getting all your Chromebooks and everything. I'm praying that you'll have a great year this year, even though it's super weird. And on the days when it's hard, just remember that you can talk to Jesus and he will give you the strength that you need. All right, love you guys. Bye. <coughs> it's not the corona. Just chuck it on my water. <coughs> Could be coming. Ugh, that was gross. Do.